it was a good start for us. Good first period. Uh, we scored timely goals tonight. Um, I thought Bracer played really good again. He was, he was really good. We just took a penalty there with four minutes left, and they, they scored right away. So um, I'm not going to dive into that, but, you know, we're up 2-1, and, and uh, they get a call. So um, that's the difference. On bright side, uh, Adam Ernie uh, continues his hot hand. I mean, you just kind of uh, – Kind of expecting him now. The way the season has gone for him to step up in, in key moments. Well, he's played played hard every game. He plays plays with Luke and, and Helmer, and uh, they work hard and they're hard to play against. And they create offense because they make other lines and other teams uh, the other team defend. So um, you know, it's only a matter of time before it's going in for those guys. And it was it was great to see again. It was great to to go to the net and and. Uh, I'm not sure if he got two tonight or, or if the first one didn't hit him, but he's in the right spot, you know, a lot by just putting himself in front of the net. Thanks, Dylan. Thank you. Next question from Lane St. James, Detroit Free Press. Hi, Dylan. Um, you saw the other night, Jumani Smith took offense to a hit on you tonight. Luke Lindenning takes offense to that hit on Valtteri. How important is it to, for you guys to send messages like that to opponents that you're not going to stand for that kind of stuff? Yeah, it's very important. That's what it, what a team is all about, and we have our we have each other's backs in here. Uh, we we battle, we work for each other, and you know, it was great to see Luke step up for for Phil tonight. So it was it was great to see Smitty do it in Florida, and, and we need more of that going forward. And just with with Svechnikov comes in, uh, you know, he's in and out of the lineup so much. But do you like how he he seems like a very opportunistic guy whenever he does get a chance? Yeah, he does. He's always ready. He prepares every day like he's playing, whether he's not in the lineup or, or he is in the lineup. And, you know, I give him a lot of credit. He's had a great attitude through all of it. And, and you know, I, I really enjoyed playing with him tonight. I thought he's hard on pucks. He, he set me up a couple of times where, you know, I got to do more with, with, with those chances. But, um, you know, there's a lot of communication and he's he's hard on the puck. He, he's, as a, as a player that likes to play with the puck, he's, He's someone that can get it for me, so I, I I like playing with him tonight. And Leslie, just even though maybe you haven't always gotten the results you guys wanted of late, but do you feel like outside of maybe the, those first few minutes in that one Florida game, you know, you you played your two one against Tampa five one, and this tonight that you're playing more of the right way on a consistent basis? Yeah, we do. We've gotten great goaltending this season, um, you know, in. We're in a game tonight, though, and and we're down. We're up two one, and and then we lose. We find a way to lose, and you know, at some point here, it's got to turn, and it's got to start start seeing results, and and uh, you know, we know we can beat this team on Thursday, and we got to come out and do it. You know, I thought uh, I, I think over this stretch from when he went into Florida, he's been solid. I think we've played solid defensively in front of him. So, um, you know, I think it's been. Uh, I think those two things usually go hand in hand. I think when you play good defense, you give your goalie a chance to make saves, and then he goes out and makes the ones he's supposed to and mixes in a big save at a big moment, and that's what he's done. It's just good to see that he – I mean, he had some ups and downs early in the season that he's, he's stuck with it and worked through it. He's uh, He's been through lots in his pro career. He, he knows how to handle it, and, uh, you know, that's part of the advantage of having a guy like that who's who's been through it and – uh, you know, obviously everybody's confidence can get shaken at times, but he, he's able to uh, stay with it and just work. And, and he's done that. And I think he's put his, uh, he's put himself in a better spot in terms of where his, uh, where his goal is at. And it, you got, you've talked a lot about, you know, guys needing to stand up for one another. Did you like to see what Luke did tonight uh, after that hit on, on Valtteri and, you know, what Giovanni did the other day uh, after a hit on, on Dylan? Yeah, I think it's important as a hockey team to care about each other, want to play for each other, and want to want to go to battle for each other, and want to stick up for each other. And uh, uh, you know, I was I was certainly uh, that's a penalty that you better kill as a group, um, and, and we did. Thank you. Next up, Ansar Khan, I'm live. Yeah, Jeff. Uh, just in the third period, there uh, just a, a bad change on that uh, first goal. And then uh, just an untimely penalty that, that cost you there. 
Terrible change, uh, terrible change. We, we've talked about this a lot. Uh, you know, tonight we had an un, un, you know, we talk about execution and discipline and, and you know, we had a too many men penalty and a, and a terrible change goal. So those are inexcusable things that happened there. And, and ultimately, you know, it cost you a minute on the power play and it cost your goal against. And I thought on that power play, we lost momentum. So those are, those are totally avoidable things that we got to make sure we do a better job of, you know, the, the call is, is the call like, uh, uh, I didn't think Stalzi did much there, but uh, it is what it is.